Hi everyone. In my last video, I got a number of questions asked about the awning and if I could give some more detailed looks at how it's built and assembled. So that's what this video is for. Um, starting with better view than last time. It is again the half inch P uh, PVC conduit with half inch steel conduit inside of it. A hole drilled in the end which allows you to put a key ring, I think it's a two inch one, which is nice to be able to pull, uh, otherwise it's a little hard to get a hold of. There's also a plug in there to keep the rough edges off your fingers so you don't get cut up. It's released just by pulling the pin up and out and pulling it. Uh, the tubing itself though is just simply put on with brackets, uh, if I can show them here. It's all they are, just metal strapping stuff, it's all electrical stuff from Home Depot. Pop rivet into place. There's lines on the extrusion on the frame itself, on the roof, to allow it to line up exactly. Makes it pretty easy to actually set up. Um, all, there's three of these on here, the one on each end, plus the one in the middle. They're built all exactly the same, with one exception. The one in the middle has a washer on it. And the purpose of that is to prevent the awning from sliding off the edge if it gets kind of windy. It's never really happened, but that's what it's for. Otherwise, they're literally identical, all three of them. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate how to open it up. Pull a pin. I've got the pins held on by fishing line so they don't get lost. And you pull. And keep pulling until you get out to the right spot, which I have marked with magic marker. I get right to the end there. There it is. And then you put the pin back in and lock it. Once you have all three of them pulled out and locked in with their safety pins, all three, you can see they just extend out sideways. That's a better view. Pretty straightforward. Then you slide over the awning. Okay, and here we go with the awning inserted into place and ready to raise the roof. At this point, it's completely done. As you lift the roof up, the awning goes up with it. Uh, the only other things to really note on this at all, if you want to build one of these, the loops that we have down here have to be just big enough for the pull rings to fit through. Uh, that obviously there's two things. One, you can assemble it, but by making it just a little bit bigger than it needs to be for the ring to slide through, it makes it hard for it to pull off by on its own with wind. And that brings you to the center washer. You can see how it actually works here. It's just, it just makes a shelf so it can't slide off sideways. Works out pretty good. It's never come loose or even really drifted around in the wind at all. Uh, oh, and one last thing. In the center rod only, in part because I used such a heavy Ottertex material for this awning, it physically has some weight to it, I was worried that we might get some bending loads as the metal rod comes out of the plastic. So I wound up in potentially bending the metal rod. I was just wanted to be sure. I wound up finding a piece of smaller tubing that I slid inside of that and epoxied into place to reinforce it and make it a little bit heavier duty. Um, if you had a heavier duty conduit, you could probably skip that step. Basically anything that would go in there that would help keep the uh, metal conduit from pinching or bending would do the job too. Um, even plastic or a piece of wood doweling rammed in there would do the same thing. Uh, I think that's everything that I can really show with this. If anybody's got more questions, please let me know.